my name is Jakob Slot. I'm from Denmark, living in Austria since almost 20 years. Um, I'm an athlete by Arcteryx as a skier, ski alpinist, and at the same time I'm a photographer and filmmaker. Well, my choice is that uh, if I go to ski, I go to ski. If I go to uh, climb a mountain to ski down, this is the focus, no? And that day I'm not a photographer. That day I, I may be there with a, with a Mark V with a, with a pancake lens in my pocket, taking no space, just in case that uh, the good object will arrive to shoot. But finally, in that day, I'm a, I'm a skier. No? Um, in the day I, I go to shoot photos, I, um, I don't uh, concentrate in skiing, not at all. Also, my equipment is a little bit different. Um, I maybe don't close the boots so tight, um, more open, always looking for, for the right light again and uh, the right place. If I'm a skier, I just go to ski, what's the right place for skiing? No? It's the difference. One advice for shooting uh, photos in the mountains um, is, uh, I will say, to be in the right place at the right time. Um, and that you can only be if you actually will be there. You know? That means don't run after the places you want to shoot. Try to make one place happen. Shoot the good photo when you can do it and then go to the next place. Don't look uh, away and say, okay, the conditions are not so good right now. Um, I run to another town, another mountain, another location to shoot there because it might be better. You don't want that. You want to stay where you are and do the photo you want to do and then you want to move on. Else you end up running for nothing. You know, the problem is if you're always the same as a skier. If you want to ski deep snow and you always go, uh, you look in the weather forecast and the next valley have the good conditions and you run over there, well, the deep snow is gone. It's skied out when you arrive there. And then you have to go back home again to, to look for your own place that had no good snow before and you will arrive there and there's no good snow. It's the same with the photography. You need to wait for the light, you need to sit around to spend the time um, for the right conditions. And maybe it's uh, putting up your tent next to the lake in the middle of the night, sit and wait for, for the first light in the morning, but that's what you actually want to do. You want to have uh, patience, paciencia. When you shoot skiing, of course, you want to shoot uh, untouched uh, terrain. You don't want uh, you don't want any old uh, tracks in the in the image. So you need to go step by step. You start maybe in the top of the mountain and you work your way down. Um, look for the right place for the right snow again for the right light at the right time of the day. And. Um, well, you work more like, uh, I say, playing mini golf, no? You, it's, uh, it's a little step by step. Maybe you shoot uh, one little feature and then you move 100 meters to left or right um, to shoot the next feature. Sometimes, of course, the skier have to walk a lot. He maybe have to walk up again to, to do the same once again if it doesn't work out. Well, if he doesn't ski good enough. <laughs> and. Um, so it's a lot of work and uh, it's lots of little scenes, no? Where when you're filming, it's a little bit different because you want uh, most of the time the bigger shot, the, the, the bigger mountain, the longer slope, um, the um, uh, more fluent uh, action, which uh, maybe takes space over 20 seconds and not only the one second uh, when you're when you're shooting photos. There are a lot of photographers that don't ski really that good. They do very nice photos. I think it's important that you, of course, if you are a good skier, you can get to the good places, the special places. On the other side, if you, it's important to understand uh, the technique. A lot of photographers uh, show uh, very bad technique. They like the nice photo they made, but uh, they don't understand that the skier uh, does not look too well in the, the right position, in the action, or whatsoever. So it's important also to understand and to be also to, um, to show the respect for, for the athlete that you only show him in a good position. 
I, I believe uh, uh, to combine shooting video and photos at the same time on the same scene uh, with a DSLR camera is quite complicated because when you're filming you're trying to keep a line uh, through your sessions so it all fits together. If I in between start shooting photos, uh, for example of uh, Luca climbing, uh, then uh, it's difficult um, to keep the, the right line in your film script. I believe okay, I, I, I already did this uh, scene but I didn't, you know, I did it as a photo and not as film. So when I get home, something is missing. Um, this is more the problem. So I like to split. If I shoot video, I shoot video. If I shoot photo, I shoot photo. Well, the experience of filming uh, the, the portrait on Luca Lintic was that um, we were staying very uh, original. We, um, we tried not to, uh, to come up with a, a faking story of anything, which was the spirit of Luca and is also my spirit. I like to shoot uh, true original stories um, and not Hollywood. So uh, to work with Luca was, was incredible because it's uh, what he stands for in his climbing is what I stand for in my skiing and uh, it's, it's the same spirit. And um, I think in shooting photography it's the same. Um, to try to, to keep uh, the original um, uh, truth or the, the original spirit. Um, so it was, of course, super, super interesting also to get another view on, on mountaineering, like different aspects uh, I have never seen closer before, but um, which I got to experience with him. And um, also all the, the older generations uh, around him, uh, like uh, Marco and uh, Silvo, to get to know these people was, of course, very interesting also. I think it's definitely possible to work as a prof professional uh, 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 ski or outdoor photographer. Um, it's getting more difficult, of course, with the internet, but um, there are many different directions you can do your work for companies, for magazines, advertisements, art. Um, the question is you have to choose for yourself what, what works for you and um, in which direction you, you like to go. No?